Okay, here's my next project. They're the ones that uh, at the quarry they glued these two pieces back together. Uh, it's missing some rock. I'm gonna have to fill in and fix these cracks. Uh, missing a little bit of backbone there, which is on the other piece, but I'm not gonna even bother with it because that's a heck of a job, and it may not even look right. So I'm going to take this little tool, and what you always want to do with your tools is take a little bit of oil, like a drop or two, and that's it. Uh, this is a pretty small tool, but these are some very fine little ray bones that I'm going to have to try to get out of there and expose without damaging them. And so, uh, this is this beautiful tool only work, uses two and a half bars of pressure, which is 36 pounds. Well, we're already in the on position. So, here goes nothing. Just little teeny tiny bits at a time and when I get to this really small stuff that's when I get kind of nervous but you just go slow and take it easy and hope it works out fine so back to work got some stuff on I don't like so what I'm gonna do is if I can find my water oh crap found it <laughs> that's kind of funny anyways I'm gonna take this toothbrush see if I can get some of that white crap off of there I'll I'll finish I'll pull it I'll wash this rock off all this slurry on there when I'm done but I'll I'll uh, square up this fish they they don't square nothing in that court I don't understand that but it's the way they operate so I'm gonna get back to work I'll show you some progress here take off my OptiVisor number five and put on my OptiVisor number ten which means I'm gonna be right up on top of this fish then I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but here goes nothing at least I'll be able to see it better magnification you can do some pretty good stuff with
Then take the rock and shape it. That's all there is to it. Anyways, uh, that's what I was working on. Little teeny tiny things. There's a little piece missing there, but the way it goes. Now I'm going to work my way up here along these little fine things and see if I can get to the tip of this tail and then the ventral part and then go to the dorsal part of this tail and see if I can get that and finish her up. Small little job, but cool little fish. Then I'll fix the crack. Holy cow, that's tough. There's a lot of concentration. It's not cleaned up, but uh, getting it all exposed. Those little tippy tippies of those little ray bones are, those are pretty tough. Real dang tough. But uh, it's going to be a cool fish. All right, now I'm going to finish up this, clean up this fish, and work on the cracks. There it is. Give that a bit of a bath. That is a pretty little fish. Jeez. All right, let me screw up this rock a little bit. Even though I'm still going to have to cut it. Man, I'll never get over why those guys don't just get a cheap framing square draw some lines and cut these things out square oh well it's the way they do things get a load of that pretty little fish I won't do this until tomorrow this crack but you can see the glue they use just colors the rock it's just it's just awful mmm oh well Still a cool little fish. Dang cool little fish. Alright, tomorrow crack repair. Let that sit there today and dry. Putty mixed, two different colors. That's for the rock. Got my lab dust. My water. Little scrubbing, scouring, sponge thingy. I don't need Put my lid back on my color before I spill it. Uh, little applicator tool I'm going to use to fill these cracks with. So the light color is going to go on the rock, but not on the fish. Dark color is actually just going to go on that little tiny dark spot right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. That little cavern right there, a little, little miniature Grand Canyon. So that'll make it look better anyways. All I do is make a point.
that's it for that then uh, form that into a wedge and just start filling it up pressing very firmly you don't want it coming out How it's going to look, won't know till tomorrow when I clean it up. What I mean by clean it up is that once you put the lab dust on, it gets all dusty and gritty and whatnot. So, when my putty's in, I take my sponge. Here, let me back this up a little bit. Oh, geez, wrong way, Ronald. Holy crap, come on. So, a little bit of water, a sponge. Dry it up a little bit. Take my lead dust powder, which I make by my, I make myself from leftover rock and a mortar and pestle. Press the powder in. It looks absolutely horrible right now. Won't look near as bad tomorrow when I clean it up. So, let that cure for 24 hours. Clean that up, sand these edges so they're nice and you can see the saw marks and stuff. I clean, I sand those on my belt sander. And then, uh, I soften the edges with some sander and I'll sauce that up. I'll see if I can get this white stuff off. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. It's all up to Mother Nature. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Alrighty then, my fossil peeps. Um, I took my sharpened chainsaw file and got rid of most of that white. I uh, had to work at it, but it came off. And then I um, gave it a soft scrubbing, cleaned it up, and I took it over to my little belt sander and cleaned up these edges so they're nice and smooth. They're not perfect, but uh, a lot better than they were, and nobody looked at the edges anyways. And then I brought it over here and dusted it off, and took my glip doll, the little tiny brush, and glip doll the whole thing. Looks pretty good, but boy, I hate that crack. I thought for sure it was going to come out better than that. Don't get me wrong, it's a dang cool fish on a dang cool slab of rock, but I do not like that crack. So, I'm going to do what I do a lot of times, is put it on my desk and just look at it long enough and maybe I'll get to like it enough to where I'll put it on the wall. I didn't bother putting a hanger on it because of, I don't like it enough yet. Anyways, uh, another rock out of the garage. <laughs>